I was reading this report here from PageFair about the cost of ad blocking. Now, I know a lot of people are using ad blockers these days, Adblock Plus, and my personal favorite is uBlock, but I hadn't realized just how much it was costing them. You know it's gonna be a fair bit, but uh, let's just see how bad it is. So the global economic cost of blocking ads in 2015 is 21.8 billion US dollars, and in 2016, well, due to the fact they must be doubling up the amount of ad advertising on the internet, looks like it's gonna cost 41 billion. Oh, well, boo-hoo, do I really feel sorry still? <laughs> Actually, I don't know, it kind of puts it in perspective, really. I look at the percentage of people using ad blockers here. Now, for the United Kingdom, they're saying that 20% of the population, so 20% of 60 million people, I think they said it's about 18 million are actually using ad blockers. That's quite a lot. Uh, Poland, 34%. Greece, 36%. That's, uh, yeah, quite a lot, really. Let's talk about the stats of the websites that are most affected. So there's gaming. Quite surprising, really, to see gaming at the top. I was kind of thinking it would be tech or internet-related sites. But, uh, yeah, gaming, social networking, tech, the top three. And at the bottom end, we've got government, legal, charitable organisations, and real estate. Does that kind of suit the demographic of the people who may or may not know about ad blockers? Yeah, probably does, really. They talk about the driving force behind it, and it's that Google themselves. <laughs> yeah, fair play. Google uh, reliant on ad revenue, but yet they're saying that the driving force behind the browser being easy enough to do the ad blocking add-ons. They talk about the growth there, Firefox, not so much. Well, I suppose a lot of people who use Firefox have gone across to Chrome and the other browsers, Internet Explorer. You can still get ad block for Internet Explorer, but is it difficult? Maybe it is. Mobile is yet to be a factor in ad blocking growth. Well, you can't do the add ons in Chrome on Android, can you? Unless I'm missing something. Certainly can in Firefox on Android. The reasons people start using ad blockers, they surveyed 400 people in the US. The findings, misuse of personal information was the primary reason to enable ad blocking. An increase in the number of ads was more important among millennials. And one in four respondents aged 35 to 49 have no desire to ever use an ad blocking software. And that font is rather small and on its side, so I can't really read all that. But yeah, I'm surprised about that being the conclusion because my opinion of them is they're horrifically bad on tracking and they also don't do enough to prevent malware getting into the adverts. So they become malware peddlers. And it's quite lethal because you go and visit a website you think is safe, you think is genuine, it's not porn related, it's not anything seedy on the internet and oh look, I've just been hit with an advert, uh, malicious download. Hmm. Oh well, damn. But you don't know it, and that's kind of the point. Uh, so as I mentioned, I use uBlock, and since I've installed it, I've blocked that many things, 125,000 items or 11% of content that has come down on the browser has been blocked. The types of websites I find that are most prolific are news sites. So in this case, the Telegraph, I'm blocking 19% of the page here, but if I go and open up an article, it goes even higher. So that increases to 32% of the page is being blocked. Oh, it's just gone down to 28, but yeah, that's still quite a lot, really. Well, let's see who's being blocked. Adobe, oh, they were involved on that report that I just read. So let's see who else. Lots here, advertising companies, double click, that's Google. Facebook, Google Analytics, Google Syndication, Google Tag Services, that is all Google's tracking, and Loads more here. These are all tracking companies. Why so many? This is ridiculous. I know if I visited the Telegraph without any cookie blocking, without ad blocking, I would expect to receive about 100 cookies on my computer just for browsing a couple of pages. <laughs> That's horrific. How much do they want to track you? Well, I can see why, because targeted advertising is worth more than like untargeted, like you would say with a TV program that you know maybe the general audience is going to watch it. So if it's a kids' cartoon, then you know a lot of kids are going to be watching, so they'll be advertising kids' toys. But that's not guaranteed that kids are always watching that. Adults might watch it. 
Whereas the difference is, if you know you're tracking someone on the internet, you know the sort of things they're interested in because you're following exactly everything they do, everything they search, everything they look for, you can target adverts more specifically in the hope that people will click on it. It's not just a hope, it really does work because you see how much Google ad revenue is worth. Anyway, I was going to go on a bit more here about other websites like eBay and Amazon. I mean, they advertise on the site as well. So if I compare it with Chrome, that I don't have any ad block in here, so we've got pop-ups here that oh yeah, eBay and PayPal are separate companies, blah blah blah, and use of cookies, yeah, it's more junk. And down the bottom of the page, we get adverts here. Why look how much do eBay get with fees that people just use in the website? So what I've done here with uBlock is blocked out a lot of the third party content. So that's various advertising parts within eBay. If I go down the page, let's just go to the bottom. Oh, look, there's no adverts there. How much cleaner is that? And I don't have any cookie pop-ups either, because that absolutely drives me mad. Cookie pop-ups. And I can go a bit further here. I know the font is a bit screwed up here, but let's just get rid of that browser-related bit as well. So it's got to peer around my microphone. Uh, that's going to be right panel container, it's going to be that one. So create that. Oh look, the page is now so much cleaner. This is, a sort of, this is a lot of what I have to do on the internet because it's so messy with all the adverts. So I'm getting a cleaner view on the internet, it's low, pages are loading faster, and I don't get any malware. And those are my reasons for using ad blocker, and I cannot foresee myself going back. So that was a look at the cost of ad blocking. So thanks for watching, see you all later.